Yo, what's going on guys? This is They Call Me Tim and welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, I'm kind of late on this video. I should have done this a while ago, a couple days ago at least, but I've been dealing with a lot of stuff lately. It was supposed to come up yesterday, so I just know I've been dealing with stress. So, I'm good now. Uh, this is going to be my sneaker collection. Now, this has been anticipated by people who know me at least, and I want to do this as of now, updated one. Uh, I love this collection, my collection of shoes. Take pride in it, I clean them. I also clean them for those who are on campus and have those scuffs on those shoes and don't know how to clean them, come to me. I clean them, I got the service, I got your back. Anyways, so this will be my sneaker collection and I'm going to show you my first shoe. This will range by, um, my, my most favorite shoe will be at the end of this collection and then my in between, there's no order, but my favorite shoe is going to be at the end of this video, so be on the lookout. We have my Nike Roshis, almost called them Flyknits for some odd reason. These have been clutch. Many a times, they they match a couple of my uh, Belmont jackets and stuff. Um, kind of flexible. They tend and they they tend to crease up, but you can um uh you could take that out by um a method that I came up with. Now, if you um for those people that got creases in theirs, I mean I haven't done mine yet, but for people who do have creases in theirs. You can come to me and I can do it for you for t uh, do the shoes for you for ten bucks. It's cool. All right, I love these shoes. I have my Air Max Sunset Gradients, Sunset or Gradients. I call them my Sunsets because look at that, look at that colorway. Look at that, beautiful, ain't it? Got the Nike Air on the back though. Ooh, Nike Air. The Air Max. I love these. I usually match this with a black shirt or a gray shirt. So you know, I have. I also have a a, a jacket, a infrared type of fluorescent jacket with the purple that matches this purple, so it matches well. You can get like brown joggers or what, camel joggers that can go with this. It's cool. All right, Air Max. I have my Nikes. Simply Nikes. Can't go wrong with these. They were nice in their prime. They kind of got worn down. I kind of wear these when it gets kind of rainy sometimes, maybe. But um, you got blue's my favorite color, so I had to cop these when I was. Like, like a junior, junior in high school, yeah. It was cool. I like these. Now, I call these <laughs> the Broke Man's Yeezys. No, not the X Tubulars. These are the Flash Stepper 2K3s. They look just, they, I mean, they don't look exactly like them. But you could play these. No, you can't play these off. These are Nike. So, so um, I like the two straps that they have right here. Um, people were knocking my shoe, but when I started wearing it, it just people. I got more compliments than like hate than anything. So. And also, I think people, when you get new shoes, wear your shoes. Okay, don't be afraid to walk in them. You don't spend some amount of money for no shoes for you to walk like a duck. Man. That's dumb. Okay? Wear your shoes. You can get them clean by me if you're on campus. So. Uh, and for the people that do want to send their shoes for restorations, I'll send. You know what? You can email me and I'll give you my address for you to send to me your shoes and I will clean them for you or if you're out of state because oh, I'm in Tennessee, Nashville because I go to Belmont University 
If you want your shoes taken care of and you are out of state of, from where I am, you can send your shoes here. I can take care of it. I send your money through my PayPal and I'll give you the shoes back. Done deal. I love these. These were my first cop when I had a job. Um, I would, y'all used to work for Ross, and when I had enough money, I bought these, and they really were on stock. Oh my goodness! It took so long. It's like for them to restock. Nike was Nike came in a clutch. I was I I just was randomly on Nike, and I saw the shoes, and I was like, thank God. I copped them as soon as I could. I got the Nike Harachis. These sell out. Oh gosh. Yeah. These sold out almost immediately, and I was lucky to cop a pair. I wear a size 13 and Harachis. They do fit kind of small. So depending on who you are, I mean, I wear a size 12 in Jordan because they fit big. These kind of fit small, so I wear a size 13. So if you're willing, if you're trying to um, make a purchase, and not in this colorway, but they have other colorways, try and go a size lower, half size, maybe a whole size, depending on how you fit it. Whether or not you're buying online or you're buying in the store, try and go a half size down from the regular size. I love these shoes. First cop. I know you want to see this. I got my Jordan 6s. Infrared 6s. I won these in a bet. In 2K16 on the Xbox One. The dude said, play with the 6s, right? And if you beat me by 30, you can win these 6s. Now, I didn't think I was going to win this, but I was just like, okay. I just said, okay. And then when I started, I really thought that he was just trying to give me the shoes, but he just sucked that bad. So I got these. So still icy and everything. Oh my goodness. Such a, st literally a steal. The man couldn't help but give me these shoes. I relaced them. Um... There's one of two ways that you can lace these. I lace these this way because the laces are a little long on these. I wish I got shorter ones. But yeah, there's one way. There's another way. If you want a video of how you can lace these, and also if you want a video on how you can lace Harachis, uh, say so in the comments for me. And I'll send that. That'll be my next video how to lace these two shoes. I love these. My first Jordans. Now, I have these shoes are just my balling shoes. I just play basketball in these. They're kind of rough, but like they've been through a lot. Got the Chris Paul on the tongue. Boy, I thought I thought this was so fine when I went to the Nike outlet. I was like, boy, what? Chris Paul. Man, I wanted these so bad, man. Not so bad, but when I saw them, I was like, I gotta have them. I didn't cop them. My father did. Shout out to you, Dad. I love these for playing balling. I got my... These are kind of like... I would say sort of like a sprayberry type of shoe. They're called... Whoa. They're like snop. It's S A N with a smiley face case. So, don't know the company's name, but I usually mess this in the summertime. Uh, <laughs> uh, the person who gave me this Simone. Oh, you too. Um, I will wear these in the summertime. Uh, no socks. She don't like it with socks on and look kind of goofy. And yeah, they do kind of look goofy. But they're they're more of a fluorescent red. They're not a varsity red. This is a this is a varsity red. Shout out to Hypeland. Y'all can check out their uh, website for jackets. Sixty bucks each. Uh, no, they are not sponsoring this. I'm just saying. Cause, um, come on now. So these are more fluorescent red. Yep. So. I have my Adidas. Like I said, blue is my favorite color, but I like the combination of blue and red. 
I had these since my junior year in high school as well. Um, they were decent. They lasted me for a little while. I don't wear them like that no more because I have uh, other shoes. Um, I still love them regardless. I feel like they're more of a summer shoe because it's starting to get cold, so I can't really wear these. My toes will freeze up, and who got time for that? And speaking of which, you can't have all these sports shoes and have no dress shoes. How you gonna go to church? I got these from my uncle. I love these. These are the cold hands. They still got the paper in. They they knew. Just got them for Christmas. Um, I love these. I love the grooves on, especially on the back. It's so unique. It's a different type of shoe for me. I've never thought I would get a shoe like this, but it's actually quite different. I like them. I like them a lot. So yeah, a nice real feel. New shoes for church and stuff. It's cool. Um, dressy events, formal, so on and so forth. So guys that are watching this video, do not just buy Jordan. Because when it's time for you to go to prom, or when it's time for you to go to, you wouldn't wear these prom. But what I'm saying is, if it's time for you to go get that interview, you're not gonna wear your Jordans. You're not gonna wear some uh, threes or fours. You're not gonna wear sixes. You're not. You're just not. Cause you're not getting the job. You need to look professional. So you need to get shoes like these, okay? Brand new. Speaking of which, I got my Sperry's. These have been clutch. I went to. On uh, number uh, numerous occasions that were formal in these, I call them my good luck spirits because I got uh, I went to the scholarship interview. I love these, and I got these for I didn't I didn't get them for that, but I got them a little bit prior for that. I like the colorway, and even if they're battered up, they still look good. Okay, now the toe and all that you can get that fixed. You can get that fixed, but. The rest of it, it's a good shoe. It's a good shoe and it lasts long. As long as you don't take a knife to it and cut it. So, I got my Tim's. I love these. Yes, yes, I can see the comments now. Haha, ha, Tim, Tim's, Tim. They call me Tim's. No. I get, I don't think you understand how many times I got Tim's wearing Tim's. Like, corny at. So, I love these, the wheat colorway, these are peanut butter wheat. Uh, I went to uh, Timberland Outlet for these in Georgia, um, a little far from me, about an hour north. It's probably near where people are probably watching, like Ornette maybe, a little bit farther north near Kennesaw, so on and so forth. It's nice, it's a nice little thing. I got, I got them for retail, they were nice. I got these, they fit big, okay, they fit really big. So I got these in a, uh, a 10 and a half, because they fit really big. Because if I were to get a size 13, I would have been boating and floating in these. So I got these, they lasted me since my senior year in high school, and they still look good. I still like go over it and brush my suede down, make sure my discoloration doesn't go off, they're perfect. The soles, man, come on now. The soles, they, they're perfect. As long as you don't got a whole bunch of heel drag. I got some, but it's not heavy like, like you can see all of this just gone, erased, and you're just running like this, like a duck. That's, come on now, pick up your feet. But we do wear our shoes. I got my the Nazi slides. I love these. Um, I got these for sale. These are a neon orange. So. For all my Clemson fans, shout out to my brother out there, Jonathan Bino. Uh, for my Clemson fans, this would be perfect for you. I like them. Jonathan, you're not taking these, so don't think about it. I love these uh, these slides, man. Uh, they lasted me for a little while. Then it got cold, so I can't really wear these like that outside. So. Then I got my polo black shoes. I got the polo in a bit. For all y'all people that want to, it's not Ralph though. Okay, Kanye. But Kanye my favorite rapper, so don't try it. 
We got the polo by Ralph Lauren. It's probably gonna show it backwards, maybe. I don't know. So yeah, so don't try it. These are real. I got these for a job interview. I mean, for a job to work at Ross. I used to work at Ross, a retail store in Georgia. Um, they were real nice and about all that. I got these in a 10 and a half as well because these were floaty. When I got these in a size 12, not a 13 because they didn't have 13. When they got them in size 12, it felt like a size 16. That's how big the thing was. So I got a 10 and a half, boss. I got a 10 and a half. And yeah, these were perfect. I love these shoes. Um, if I'm wearing all black, maybe. So yeah. And the moment we've all been waiting for. My favorite. These were a gift from a friend. These were perfect. Oh my goodness. I wanted these shoes so bad. I thought they were gonna sell out too, but they sat on shelves. That will be another discussion. If you want that to be another video, say so in the description. Oh, not the description, Lord. If you want that to be a video, say so in, uh, in the comments down below. But these, th this is my favorite shoe. This is my favorite shoe. They're the Sweater 7s. I think people slept on this shoe so hard. So hard. These are the nothing but nets. The, 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 the sweater sevens, they're nothing but nets. This was based off of that McDonald's commercial with uh, Michael Jordan and Larry Bird. I love this colorway. It matches, it matches this and some brown joggers and these shoes. That's sick. Um, if you get anything in between all these colors, you can really finesse these shoes. You can finesse these shoes. And no matter... No matter how new the shoe, we wear our shoes, okay? See all that? We wear our shoes. I'm, I'm not saying to jump in the mud. We wear our shoes now. So we got, just show them off. What's the point of buying shoes? Ugh, this is gonna be cut heavily. What's the point of buying shoes and they're gonna sit in the mud? Um, your closet. That's all my shoes I have. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe, and share, please. Um, yeah, this is, I I love my sneaker collection. Um, what's your favorite shoe? Say so in the comments. And um, if you want any advice, people that with advice questions that offer still love, I can shout you out on Instagram or Twitter. If you want to keep it anonymous, I will just say the discussion and I will give you the advice. I will not put you out there like that. If it is anonymous and your business is real personal, but I can help you. But if it's a little bit too personal, I can answer you directly. But if it's a general question that can help everybody else, that's what I can do for you. And that would be cool. But no matter the question, send your questions. I love questions, man. I love to help people. Send your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Shout out to everybody that comes and supports and uh, shakes my hand about this YouTube video. Thank you so much. I didn't think I was going to get this much support. I really was doing this as a hobby for 2016, like I said in my last video. But I think I'm rambling a little bit too long. All right. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and share. Now had a lot of promise, I stay down. If you stay working, it'll make purpose. They all gonna tell me lies like Casey. No, I won't hurt you.